test it, Uncle Sam. The batteries are fine. Well done, James. You've completed the Fireman Sam challenge. Hooray! Uh, <laughs> now, I just need to finish this. What is it, James? There's a fire on the mountain! That's where the pioneers are. I'd better call the station. There's a fire on Pointy Pandy Mountain. There's a fire on Pointy Pandy Mountain! <laughs> The forest trails are too small for Jupiter. We'll need to take Venus. Dampened it down, Penny, so we could do with some backup. Hang on, Sam. I'm on my way. That'll do fine. Elvis? Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're stuck, aren't you, Elvis? I am. Hmm. Mm, lovely picnic, Lizzie. Come on, roll over. Shake paw. Jump. Anything. Except that. <laughs> oh, Norman is terrible. <laughs> Lady Pufflepaws won't even listen to him. So this is what you like doing. Okay, now it's time to play fetch. Come on, bring the ball back. Where is Lady Pufflepaws, Norman? Yes, I thought Lady Pufflepaws was supposed to bring the ball back. She will. Just watch. Ah. Uh. Um, you know what? I probably threw the ball too far. I've got such a strong arm. She's probably having to run for miles for that ball. I'd better go and help her. Ah, uh, where is she? Uh, no? Lady Pufflepaws? Ah! Don't panic! I'll get you! Don't worry, Lady Pufflepaws. I have my Condi Pandy Pioneer swimming badge. That's Lady Pufflepaws. <gasps> Come back, Lady Pufflepaws. <laughs> Come back. Oh, and that's my Norman. Oh. <gasps> We'd better call Fireman Sam. Oh. There. All balanced. Thanks, Elvis. We'll store the pieces here until we can return them. Sorry. One more piece. Hip. Lady Pufflepaws and Norman have fallen into the river. Lady Pufflepaws and Norman have fallen into the river. Bring Saturn. Hello, 
Lizzie. Hi, Sam. I just got a call. A penguin has escaped from Newtown Zoo. A waddly penguin? They wondered if we could all keep a lookout. Well, it's certainly something we notice. Oh, and they're offering a reward to anyone that finds it. A year's free pass to Newtown Zoo. I love Newtown Zoo, and I would love to meet a waddly penguin. <laughs> well, we'll keep our eyes open, Lizzie. Um, uh, maybe I should go and look for the Wadley penguin? Not now, Elvis. I need you to gauge the pressure from the hydrant. You need to tell me when the hose is at full blast. <gasps> that sounded like a penguin! Uh, whoa, whoa. Ah. I'm sorry, Penny. I thought I heard the Wadley penguin. That's all right, Elvis. This is the biggest beach hole ever! Beach holes are silly. You won't think it's silly when it's all decorated. Oh, I think I will. Mm, now what would look best? A big shell, some seaweed, a penguin, a, a, a penguin? A penguin? Oh no! He must have escaped from the zoo. We need to get him back. Mandy, if he's escaped from somewhere, that means he doesn't actually want to be there. Oh, he's a bit stinky. He smells of fish because he's a penguin. Do you want to come to my house, Mr. Penguin? Have either of you two seen a waddly penguin? Yes. No, uh, sorry, we've seen nothing. No penguins here. Norman. But, um, we'll keep an eye out. Bye! Okay, thanks. Norman, where's the penguin? <laughs> <gasps> I can't believe you just did that! Come on, Mr. Penguin. I'm going to give you the best home ever. boxes have to turn up. I've got Trevor coming to dinner tonight, and I wanted everything to look tidy. Now, what's this? Ooh, scented candles. Just the thing for creating a romantic atmosphere. Lamplight on Long Island. Oh, not sure about that. Sunset over Swansea. Ooh, smells a bit fishy. Maybe I'd get a better idea if I light them. Where are those matches? I'm really not sure about this, Norman. Well, I am. This will be Mr. Penguin's new home from now on. X marks the spot. Step right up, step right up. Ponty Pandy Pete Day Boat Tours, setting sail on the morning tide. I've baked some sharky nibbles. They're just like my fishy nibbles, but with more of a bite. Exactly. Mm. I bet you'd make a dashing seafarer, Trevor. Well, I have tied a few bowlines in my time. So. All the preparations for Ponty Pandy Pete Day seem to be full steam ahead, eh, Sam? <laughs> they do indeed, sir. But the one thing that would top it all off is if I could get someone to play the part of Ponty Pandy Pete. I don't suppose you do. Um, you, you know. Oh, you mean me? <laughs> no, no. Sorry, sir. Acting's not really my cup of tea. Maybe we could get one of the team to do it. Maybe, sir. But I think they might be a bit busy with their training no, drills. No, this is how you do a Ponty Pandy Pete voice, Arnold. Arr! 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 No, Elvis. It's like this. Arr! <laughs> Arr! Arr! Um, would anyone like to try um, putting out that fire? Shiver me timbers! Arr! Ah, at least we have two firefighters who might be interested in doing the job at hand. <laughs> Yo ho ho, and a har, 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 a har, repel borders on the starboard side. Or maybe not. <laughs> you two can't be Ponty Pandy Pete. You're girls. I think we'd make great Ponty Pandy Pete's, actually, Elvis. Yahar! <laughs> 
<laughs> this is going to be a long day. No one's gonna stick their head through that if the paint's still wet. But it's my masterpiece! Why don't you just go get the one you did last year? But I've worked on this for weeks! I know. I've got a heater in the back of the van. I'll have it dry in no time. <laughs> Won't be long now! <laughs> it's not fair. You sat in the middle when we went to the zoo. It is so fair. You got to sit in the middle when we went to the fun fair. Anyone want to turn on the siren? And you sat in the middle when we went to the beach. You did. Uh, I'll take that as a no, then. <laughs> roll up, roll up, eh? Test your strength and win a prize. Hear that, Trevor? Look, you could win me a teddy bear. Leave it to me, Dillis. What? The machine must be broken. Of course it's not broken. Watch! Don't worry, Trevor. You can win me a coconut instead. Come on! Let's see if she's dry yet. Oh, no one's ever gonna see my masterpiece at this rate. Okay, it's time to turn it up to the max! Oh, hey, that'll dry you off, my little beauty. Ooh, and just enough time for a quick pizza while I'm waiting. What? What's going on? Oh, bad luck, Trevor. I'll take another ten balls, please, Norman. I have to win something. Great tangled hoses! What's going on? Ah! Trevor! I'm just trying to win a coconut! Oh! Well, this is intolerable. I'm going to have to move somewhere else. Quiddington, I need your help. I'm going to back up. Tell me when I need to stop. Okay, sir. Oh. 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 I thought we were here to catch a sheep, not a fireman. <laughs> Why are we going this way, Norman? So we can beat Sarah and James. Now all we have to do is... How did they get there? We need to get ahead of them, quick! Norman, it's really dangerous to run down a steep hill. It's fine. Don't be such a babe. Great shortcut, hey, Mandy? If you like skin knees and mud all over your bottom. Huh? How is he doing this? Shh, Norman. You'll frighten the horse. The horse? Oh! Come on then, Wooly. There you go. Mm, gotcha. Well done, Sam. It wasn't just me, Lizzie. We're a team. Well, I didn't really do anything. You did? I did? Yes. You did a great big belly flop into the mattress. <laughs> mm. 
Come on, Mandy. We can ride the horse to Ponty Pandy Point. We'll easily beat James then. But I can't ride a horse. Neither can I. But how hard can it be? It doesn't even have a saddle. Riding a horse is easy, Mandy. You just have to get on and say, giddy up. I've seen it on TV. Ugh, there is no way I'm getting on that horse. It's dangerous. There is nothing dangerous about being on this horse. Ah! Well, it looks pretty dangerous to me. <laughs> Do it! I'm actually going to win! Ah, wait! Where are you going, Horsey? Horsey! Ah, oh. <laughs> oh. Ah. Ah. oh no! The horse is stuck in the mud! Call Ferryman Sam, Sarah! I'll estimate her position using my map. Now let's try 20 jumping jacks. What's up, out of breath, old chap? With all due respect, sir, we really should warm up before we start exercising. Less talking and more action. And that's how glass bottles can cause serious fires. Right then, I think it's time for lunch. Now, you two, help Trevor get the picnic things from the bus. Aw, I'm too hot to get things. Now, let's see you bend and pick up that fire bucket. Ten times, please. Oh, my back. Oh. Don't stop. Carry on, uh. carry on. A refreshing cup of tea. That's what I need. Oh no, I've left the milk on the bus. You two stay here and keep your eye on that stove. Yeah, this is so boring. I'll tell you what wouldn't be boring. Why don't we go and check out that old boat? Oh yes, great idea, Derek. Quick, before Trevor gets back. <laughs> Oh! I twisted my wrist. Oh! Now swing those buckets round from side to side. Swing! Ow! Ow! Oh, my neck! My foot! Ow. Oh, dear me. Oh, I'm calling Nurse Flood. She needs to examine Ellie's foot and see if she's broken anything. <sighs> Maybe we should stop now. Shame. I was just getting into my stride. <sighs> this is going to be amazing. Hang on. Where are the oars? They're not here. Is there anything else we could use? Ooh, floppy shovels. They'd be perfect. Out, Norman. Now I've lost my paddle. I think I can reach it. Oh, <laughs> uh -oh. oh no, now I've lost mine. We're floating away. Only one thing to do. Help! 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 What's that? <gasps> That's Norman and Derek. Oh dear. Sam. There you are, and you're hanging upside down. Awesome! Norman is so wrong. You're scared of me, not the other way around. Oh, this must be one of those underground streams. Oh, oh no! turned into a bat! Be quiet, Norman Price. 
Sounds like she's a long way down. Call Fireman Sam. Mandy Flood is trapped in the caves. Looks like we're heading back to the mountain, Sam. Let's take Hydrus. What happened? We just heard a scream. Don't worry, I know these caves. Sam, this tunnel sometimes floods. It's really dangerous. Help! Help! Don't worry, Mandy. I'm coming down. Are you okay, Mandy? Here's some water. Oh, thanks, Penny. I slipped, but I think I'm okay. You're a long way down. What do you think, Penny? I can't carry her up. There's no room for us both to fit. We've got to find another way. Oh. Oh. oh, what's that noise? What's going on down there? I can hear Fire Captain Steel working on the handcart. Hmm. Ah! She'll be growing body wings by now and hanging upside down. Poor Mandy Bat. Moose, is there a map of the caves? Yeah, right here. It's too stormy for Tom's helicopter. I'm calling the station. There's only one thing strong enough to move this tree. Will anyone find us, Grandad? Don't worry, James. I'm sure we'll be rescued soon. And I'm ready to head into the mountains. Come in, Sam. Saturn has detected body heat just ahead of you. Over. Copy that, Elvis. <gasps> it's Uncle Sam! Come in, Elvis. I found them, and I'm bringing them down. Roger that, Sam. I'll bring Saturn back.
The ocean rescue uniforms are lined for warmth in water and brightly colored so you can be easily seen. And they have a whistle. I love that whistle. Oh, Sam, just in time. Oh, thanks, Penny. So, let's see how fast you can all change. And go! Good time, everyone. Now, take those off and we'll get back to the station and see how fast you can change into the animal rescue uniforms. Great. Hey. You all right, Elvis? Oh, yes, I'm fine. You go on. I can catch up. <laughs> and Jesus. Oh. So, we're going to have to work very, very hard. We're going to bake all the extra pizzas that Granddad needs. Sarah! Oh, Sarah, can you stop huh? playing ninja carrots and start making pizzas? <laughs> Sorry, James. Yes, James? It's yes, chef. <gasps> Hello, James. Just checking that everything is going okay uh, with the pizzas. Everything's fine, Granddad. They'll all be ready in time. Uh, James, we still need to cook them. And there's not much room in that oven. Ah, uh, we've got another oven upstairs. Sarah, take those pizzas up and put them in as quick as you can. pizzas in this oven. I put as many as I can in the upstairs oven, James. Uh, I mean, Chef. But there are still loads left. <gasps> There's an oven at my house. Perfect. So you take the rest and put them in your oven, Hannah. Go, go, go. Um, yes, Chef. <laughs> uh, uh, very good, yes. Yeah. Oh, Credlington. You appear to be wearing an ocean rescue uniform. I am. I can't get out. Ooh, stay right there. I might just have the very thing. The animal rescue uniforms are a softer color so as not to scare the animals. And they are made from a material that is very easy to move around in. So, let's see how fast you can change into these. Crippington, get the animal rescue uniform on. I sing my songs till I think I'll burst. But I never forget that I'm a fireman first. I love to rock and I love to swing. But the thing I love best is when the fire bell ring. A ding-a-ling, a ding-a-ling, -a just one more verse. Everybody knows that I'm a fireman first. Norman Price are on an inflatable bouncy castle that's heading out to sea. Castle heading north, northwest, Sam. Roger that, Ben. This is all your fault, Norman Price. We'll be fine, Mandy. This thing is full of air, so how can it sink? Oh, no, not you again. Shoot, shoot! Huh? No, no, stop that! Get off! <laughs> Hang on, Mandy. Hang on, Norman. I'm slipping. Thank you, Fireman Sam. Thank you, 
Elvis? Huh? Wait, what? <laughs> Sorry, Fireman Sam, but it was that nasty seagull's fault. Norman, it was our fault? We should have waited like my dad told us. <sighs> Mandy's right. We should have waited. Sorry, Mike. Well, as long as you've learned your lesson, remember, safety always comes first. I'm just pleased you're both okay. And we even saved the bouncy castle. Oh. oh. Now I'll have to fix it and blow it up all over again. Thank you, Norman. Ah, uh, when it's ready, Mike, can I have the first bounce? Well done, James. That really was froggy spectacular. <laughs> uh, it's not fair. How come James gets to be that big froggy star? Because James has been reading all about frogs and how they move, Norman. And he's practiced for ages dancing in those flippers. It's really hard. Ah, I could do it way better than James. Watch. <laughs> Norman, just be happy to be a normal froggy like us. But I want to be the star of the show. People should be clapping for me. Me. Here we go, everyone. All right, first part of the drill, put out the fire with hoses. Roger that, Sam. That's you! Craig Langton! Sorry, sir. Maybe you should help Tom with the second part of the drill, Elvis. He's going to pick up water from the sea in that carrier and dump it over the flames. Ooh, good idea, Sam. I like going up in a helicopter. Yes, and then you'd be, uh, out of the way of, uh, Fire Captain Steel. Uh, soaking wet again. Always happens when Crittlington's around. Can't wait to see the show, eh? Have you heard? James is the star. He's got the big finale. Oh, I bet it'll be spectacular. I'm feeling a bit nervous, Mandy. Don't worry, James. You'll be great. Definitely. You're our top froggy. <laughs> What was that, Norman? I, I, I should be the froggy star. I could easily dance in those flippers. No, you couldn't, Norman Price. But I could. There's only one star in this show, and it's James. And he's going to be amazing. <gasps> or maybe he isn't. <laughs> Get out of that so-called star of the show. <laughs> That's the first fire out. I have to say it's a lot easier without Cridlington around. <laughs> Can I press the button yet, Tom? Not yet, Elvis. The water's ready to drop, but we've got to be in exactly the right place. Uh -oh. I'll tell you when. Let's go! into the mountains with no driver. And is on fire. And is on fire? And is on fire. Copy that, Fire Captain Steel. Sir, might I suggest sending Penny, Elvis, and Ben upriver in Titan, just in case we need backup? Good idea, Sam. Norma, so it's so from outer space. Oh, yeah? Which part of space? Um, planet at Bandy Pond. Wow! Do you have sponge cake there? Of course not, because it doesn't exist! Don't believe me, huh? 
and feel the force of Normaxos Cosmic Freeze Ray. <laughs> Wait! There's no one driving the train! It is on fire! Look! Uncle Sam's here! Uh, we're going to be okay! There's no need to panic, everyone! Move to the back of the train and stay calm! Get out your side, Sam. Penny, time for plan B. Roger that, Sam. Faster, Ben. Look out for the ice. Sam, Titan can't get past the ice. Roger that, Penny. Tom, are you there? We're going to need Wallaby One. On the line. Out of control trains that are on fire. Do something, Normaxo. Okay. Um, Normaxo will phone Mom. I'll call my alien buddies to fly in and rescue us on our interstellar communication device. That's your shoe, Norman. Norman, this isn't the time to. Shh, I'm on a call. <laughs> I'm not sure invincible's the right word. Uh, why do I have to have Norman on my team? He can't even skate. Don't worry, Derek. You've got Super Penguin on your side. Ah! <laughs> well done, you two. Every sidewalk in Ponty Pandy safely sanded. Splendid. Just the driveway to sand now. Uh, this is all we've got left, sir. Oh, dear. Well, we must use whatever sand we have left sparingly. Uh, how do we do that, sir? By applying my maximum cover, minimum sand method. Uh, otherwise known as shaky, shaky, shaky. Shaky, 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 sir? Oh, yes. Now, watch carefully. Shaky, 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 a shaky, shaky, shake, a shaky, shaky, shaky. Come on, everyone, shaky, shaky. Don't just stand there. Grab a shovel and join in. Okay, the rules are: our team has to stop your team from hitting this can, and our team has to stop your team from hitting that can. Well, that's not going to happen. Ready, steady, go. It's three against two. No, it's not. It's three against three, Derek. You've got the super penguin on your side. Yes, he does. Oh, no. I cannot believe we are related, Norman Price. Huh? Mike, you'd better hurry up. It's getting dark. Soon the kids won't be able to see what they're doing. They will now. Ta-da! Shaky, 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 woo! Looks like we've done it, sir. And there's still some sand left. Marvelous! That old shaky, shaky, shaky method works like a... Whoa! <laughs> I'm fine. Good thing we've got some sand left, sir. Shaky, shaky, Sam? Shaky, shaky, Ellie. Right. So I think if we all hold things like this, we'll look more like volunteer firefighters. Good idea, Trevor. Ooh, I get the hose. Actually, Mike, I think as I'm the chief volunteer firefighter, I should hold the hose. Actually, I'd like to hold the hose. Me too. Who says it's just the men that should hold the hose? No, I... it's mine! No, uh, let, let go! No, it's mine! Put it it's down! Mine. It's mine! Okay, Trevor! 
Let's let go, Dillis. Good idea, Helen. <laughs> Perhaps I should have just gone to the beach today. <gasps> oh, no. I don't think I'm in Ponty Pandy anymore. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, Tom, don't panic. Be cool. Use your helicopter pilot training. Think. Uh, swim to shore. Yeah, that's it. Uh, I'll swim back to shore. But, uh, which way is the shore? Okay, now, no poses, no brave faces, nothing to hold. Just stand by Jupiter and be yourselves. All right, Sam. Looking great. Now don't move. Taking it in three, two... Radar! Give me back my sausage! No, come on! Give it back! <sighs> Where's Tom? The dinghy's gone! Why would he take the dinghy out in this weather? The tides come in past where the boat was. Tom must have fallen asleep and floated out into the fog. Come on, kids. We need to call Fireman Sam. Tom is lost in the fog out at sea. Tom is lost in the fog out at sea. Sorry, volunteers. You'll have to take your own photo. Penny and Ben? Tom is lost. Get Neptune and Titan ready now. Roger that, Sam. Roger that, Sam. Elvis, you come with me. Okay, Sam! be like looking for a needle in a haystack. Visibility will be limited. Oh, now look what your bat's done. Take it down now, James. Ready for your spooky party guests? <laughs> yeah! <Yay! laughs> Enjoy the party. Cool bat. Wow. Amazing. It's really big. Thanks. I made it. Now, who's ready for some of my monster dancing? Yeah! Oh, yeah. yeah. It's getting in the way of my dance moves. That is not garbage! Oh! <laughs> uh, I know it's here somewhere. Uh, uh... There! It's time to create the ultimate party centerpiece! Sarah's spooktacular house of scariness! <laughs> Thanks for taking the candy apples, Penny. Ooh, uh, I'll get it. Uh, Elvis, remember, don't cook the candy for too long or it'll get too hard to use. It needs to be runny. Okay, Sam, runny it is. Ooh, tasty candy apples. I can't wait to make you. <laughs> and, oh, aha, Ooh. freeze. Not yet, sir. The candy has to set on the apples. Oh, this waiting's just miserable. So, how's it going, Elvis? Oh, uh, I think we might need some new candy. Ah, and a new pan. Hmm. Whoa, Sarah, that's amazing. What's amazing? Thanks, I made it. So, who's ready to play one of my games? Yeah! yeah. Anything but uh, make a mummy. But so this game is called Pin the Tail on the Spooky Cat. Can anyone else smell burning? <gasps> my house! My bath! Oh, this is so nice and peaceful. Stop! We have to go! 
call Fireman Sam. Beep, beep, beep. Beep, beep, beep. Scanning area. Kitchen is clear. Fire Captain Steel has finally given up on the candy apples. Yeah, he's just there, Elvis. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Ah. All right, James. Nearly there. Nah, gotcha. Thanks, Sam. Here's two free tickets to the premiere of my new spy movie. It will have the most spectacular stunts ever. It sounds great, Norman. Just make sure the stunts aren't too dangerous, okay? Yes, Sam. Our chase scene looks incredible. Are you getting all this, Sarah? Yes, Norman. Aim for that wall of empty boxes, James. This is the bit where you have a spectacular crush. I can't do it. It's okay, James. I'll call Fireman Sam. This McChin fellow is top notch. <laughs> ah, reminds me of a young me. That's James in a runaway go kart heading for the pier. James Jones is in a runaway go kart heading towards the pier. That's what I said. I'll be doing all the stunts myself. Perhaps these stunts are getting a bit too spectacular, Norman? I'm sorry, Sam, but don't worry. We've only got one more scene to shoot, and it doesn't involve any danger. I promise. Okay, Norman. Well, good luck. Jake Pond, Super Spy, scene 57. Showdown in the villain's lair. Action! <laughs> Ah, Mr. Pond, I've been expecting you. Glove fingers, my old foe. <gasps> it's a trap. Number two, tie up the prisoner. And cut. Tie up the stunt double. I don't like movie making. Or being tied to a chair. Stop mm. complaining, James. All you have to do is direct a beam of sunlight through this magnifying glass and burn through the rope like this. Woohoo! Sam, over here! Oh, I'm not supposed to do that, am I? No, no, you're not, Elvis. Oh. Penalty kick to Ponty Panda United. Get ready for the penalty kick of the century. Uh, oh, stop. Watch and learn from the professional. This is how to kick a penalty shot. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. It's an own goal. Yes. Goal. Oh, forget about the football, Norman. Just be careful with the... <laughs> wow. Oh. 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 <gasps> Mamma mia! What have you done? Uh, I'm so sorry. I'll clean up this mess. You take the pepperoni pizza out of the oven and take it to Ben at the key. Okay, Bella. Ah, it's not fair. I'm missing the match and all because of this silly pizza. <laughs> no, this is how you attack. And this is how you defend. Well, there's nothing for us to do here. We might as well all go home. 
And this is how you scissor kick. <laughs> oh, my back. Mm. Pizza smells a bit smoky. A bit too smoky. <gasps> oh, no! F help! Fire! <gasps> There's a hill fire in Ponty Pandy Park. from the bottom of the hill. Elvis and Ellie, evacuate everyone from the stand. And 100%. Norman Price! What are you doing in Bessie's shed? It's all right, Norris. I'm here. Oh, uh, Gareth. I didn't see you there. Well, as long as he's properly supervised. <laughs> Have you got anything like a plane engine? Or a high-powered rocket, so the dragon can fly. Well, I've got this old luggage trolley. If it's on wheels, then it might look like it's flying. Hmm. What's all that stuff? That's all the fire lighting equipment we use to light a fire in the steam engine. Wouldn't it be really good at lighting fires in dragons, too? Oh, no. That would be far too dangerous, Norman. Hmm. Only if you don't know what you're doing. Oh, look! Green paint! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, Jupiter! They're starting the smoke room training now. Now then, I'm off to rescue Dolly. You're supposed to be cleaning Jupiter, not your foot. I know, sir, but I finished cleaning Jupiter. <laughs> Can I join in the smoke room training now, sir? Hmm. Wait a minute. There's some soot on Jupiter's bumper and her headlights. There will be no smoke room training for you, Credlington, until Jupiter is clean, pristine, and gleaming. Hmm. Hmm. Don't worry, Jupiter. I'll get you some clean water. <laughs> mm. Ooh, here comes the new dragon. You stay there, Gareth. As I'm king of the dragons, I just want to add some last minute touches. <laughs> Once the king of dragons has a fire breathing dragon, I will be the greatest king ever. Ah, behold, my dragon. Wow! It's amazing! It's great! It's on fire! What? Wow! Huh? Oh! And it's coming toward us! Oh. Fire crew, today's exercise will require courage, sacrifice, and a healthy coat of paint. Wow! Your miniature model of Pony Pony looks amazing, sir! Very impressive! Indeed! But if I'm going to finish it before tonight's grand unveiling, I'll need your help and the assistance of a trusty professional builder. Oh. Unfortunately, he wasn't available, so my flood will have to do. Oh! Is that supposed to be me? I don't always wear that awful green outfit, you know. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and granddads. 
Welcome to the greatest show on Earth! Brace yourselves for the breathtaking trapeze act! Ta-da! Wee! <laughs> Wee! <laughs> trapeze act? Huh, that's just a tire swing strung up to the rafters. No, it's not. Ah! Oh, ah, 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 ah. Incredible plate spinning routine. Ta da! Oh, 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 um. Are they meant to be falling and smashing? Norman? Have you seen Aunt Phyllis's good china plate? Um, no, Mom. <laughs> what was that? Um. Act three hilarious clowning. This show is going to be spectacular! It will be, I promise. Wait till you see my next act. Wild and exotic animal taming. There. A miniature garden at my miniature cottage. <laughs> now, to glue on the flagpole. Oh, careful of the wet. Paint. Ah, my mini van. Ah. Watch out! Ah! Oh. Oh. Sorry, Fire Captain Steele. Great tangled hoses, my village. All right, team. Time to shape up and get serious. Yes, yes Fire Captain Steele. And now, live in the ring, before your very eyes. I will take. No, it won't. Hello, Hannah. Hello, Norman. Um, we're looking for an injured fox, Trevor. And we really need a lift to the cliffs. The cliffs? Oh, I don't know, Hannah. That's not really on my route. Oh, please, Trevor. You'd be such a hero. Just like Fireman Sam. Oh, uh... <laughs> uh, a hero, eh? Hmm, yes. <laughs> How did you do that? That was amazing! Just keep an eye out for the fox. Now, Radar, let's see how fit you are. Oh, I hope Radar's all right. Come on, boy. You can do it! That's my radar! We've looked everywhere for that fox, Hannah. I really should be getting back. No! Please, Trevor. If we don't find him, Mom will be really mad. And if you go, we'll never get back. You'd be a real hero if you helped us, Trevor. <laughs> you got something in your eye, Norman? Uh, no. I, I... Look! Up there! I see something red, and it's moving! It's the fox! Oh, I'll get him! Uh, no, Norman. That's a very tall tree. Let me do it. I am Chief Pioneer, remember? <sighs> uh, oh, I just wish that I hadn't had that... Oh, pot pie for lunch. Uh, He's uh, going, Trevor! Now a little uh, to the left. That's it. You've got it! It's not a fox! It's not? It's a kite! Oh! 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 Right, Trevor? I think so. It's time to call Fireman Sam! I'm happy to announce Radar is 100% happy and healthy. Hooray! <laughs> careful, James! I'm trying to be careful! Ah! Oh, Sam is going to love his cake! Huh? Oh, my! Someone shrunk Jupiter! Ah! Oh. Oh! <laughs> 
I'll catch this one. You haven't managed to catch one yet, Norman. If I don't catch this one, you can have my best propeller hat. Okay. I've got it. I've got it. I've got it. I've got it. I was supposed to catch that. It's normally me that does that. Oh, no. Mandy, throw them a life ring. Oh, uh, I'll get Ben. You can't, Norman. Dad says he's on Potty Panty Island. I'll call Uncle Sam. Phyllis Price is floating out to sea with Hannah and James and a giant birthday cake. Dillis is floating out to sea with Hannah and James on a giant birthday cake. Ah, Penny, you come with me to the Ocean Rescue Center. Elvis, you help Fire Captain Steel. Roger, Roger that, that, Sam! I'll pick up James and Hannah. Roger that, Sam. Oh, my cake's got a soggy bottom. Leave the cake, Dillis, and grab hold of this. Get James first, Sam. I'm a much stronger swimmer. If you're sure, Hannah. I am. If you're stuck, give him a shout. He'll be there to help you out. So move aside, make way for Fireman Sam, cause he's gonna save the day. 